Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to row. My name is Keonti and I'm going to bring us a reading. Again, this is going to be for the sign of Pisces, the baby shark, sun, moon, and sun, moon, rising in Venus, as well as the Pisces cross watcher. Pisces, keep in mind it is a general read. Everything I say won't resonate for every last single one of you. But if it does resonate for you, make sure you take care of your girl with a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Keep what resonates, release what doesn't. If you're interested in booking me for a private reading, Pisces, my email information, my email address, rather, is for the love of water, tarot at gmail.com. All right, Pisces, we're going to really quickly talk about the energy coming towards you. What's this all about? Why is this all happening? And how's it going down? All right, baby shark, to let's go. Cross watchers, it could definitely resonate from your perspective. So let's get the energy <clears throat> of the energy of the who's coming towards you, right? Let's get that energy for Pisces. Change, chariot energy, regeneration, growth, metamorphosis, cycles, family is underneath the deck. So there is someone coming towards you. It could definitely be a Cancerian, but someone's coming towards you in the energy of regeneration, growth, and metamorphosis, right? Feels very much like butterfly to cocoon, uh, cocoon to butterfly, right? Someone has went, went through some sort of regeneration, growth, or metamorphosis that's coming towards you. Or it's simply a Cancerian. It definitely feels like transit, change, change, an agent of change, though. Give me some more faded and faded meeting. You could be dealing with the Cancerian or a Sagittarius. But this is predestined, predetermined encounter. So there's an energy, that there's some sort of faded encounter getting ready to come towards you. It's destined. It's meant to be. It's predetermined. There's an encounter you're getting ready to have with someone that's coming towards you in a very changed way. Uh-oh. Wedding. This could be you meeting someone that you're getting ready to go into a serious relationship or a commitment with here. What's this all about here for Pisces? Roll the dice. You could be dealing with an Aries, but this is take a chance. Take a leap. Storm one in the tower. So you got Aries, strong Aries, Scorpio energy here. So far, I have Cancerian, Sagittarius. Now we have Aries and Scorpio. There's someone that's getting ready to take a chance. They're going to take a, a take a risk. They're going to take a leap of faith. There's a strategy to come towards you. So someone is coming towards you for this pre predestined, predetermined encounter here. It's coming in an, inner, in an energy of regeneration and growth. They're going to take this chance. They're going to take this strategy. I mean, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna, they, they have a strategy. They're going to take this leap of faith. Give me some more for what this is about for Pisces because I see someone doing it. Unexpected. So, Pisces, you definitely don't see this coming. You don't, you don't see someone taking this chance. You don't see this message coming because there's a surprise. It's unpredictable. There's something shocking here about the entire situation. Feels very much like Aries. Aries, Scorpio, Cancer, Sagittarius. Then we have a toxic relationship under here, Capricorn. So it's definitely someone that's going to take some sort of some sort of chance here. Again, it's something out of the ordinary for sure. It's it's a risk. It's out of the ordinary. It's a surprise. It's, it's something that you wouldn't predict. It's out of the usual. Yes, yeah, something out of the usual. Someone's going to do something out of the usual. Why is all this happening? Ghosted. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Disappearing, silence, ignored, rejected. Again, this could be someone who you ghosted, Pisces. This could have been someone who ghosted you in the past. This could simply be doing someone doing this because they feel like they feel removed. They feel like they're a ghost in your life. Signs and synchronicities, Leo energy. Pisces, this could definitely be something that you've been getting the signs and synchronicities about or, or someone is getting signs and synchronicities. I don't know if they're getting the signs and synchronicities that they will be left behind. Give me more for why this is happening. That came right out. Addictions, Capricorn energy. I don't know, Pisces. If someone goes at you or you go at them, I do feel like there's someone that is feeling very removed from you. They could definitely be feeling a little bit obsessed, right? <clears throat> there could definitely be an energy of ghosting because of add addictions, right? Drugs, alcohol, toxic attachments, right? Obsession. Someone could definitely be simply ready to disappear and get out of a toxic situation and change some things for sure. Pisces, it could have been somebody who ghosted you who is now obsessed with you or someone you go someone that you definitely had to ghost yourself, right? You could have ghosted someone and now they're now they're obsessed. Yep, divine timing. I feel like something was supposed, I feel like someone missed an appointment in the past. I feel like something was supposed to happen in the past and someone let some sort of toxic attraction, toxic attachment get in the way. And I feel like this is why someone is feeling like they're removed or on the other end or, or, or on the other side of things or getting ready to be left behind. 
with divine timing here, something didn't happen when it was supposed to. And this is why all this is happening. But now let's see what, how this is getting ready to go down for you, Pisces. How is this going down for Pisces? Fear, afraid, uneasy, suspicion, soulmate. Okay. So I do feel like there is a soulmate headed towards you. But this person is uneasy. They're afraid. They could definitely be a, a scared of something. There's a fear here. There's a fear. Is someone afraid that if they don't change, if they don't take, if they don't, if they don't make some changes here, if they don't do something un unexpected here and take some sort of leap of faith? <clears throat> because I do feel like why this is happening is because there's a real aware that like toxic ish will be left in the past. Toxic ish will be ignored and rejected. We have strong Virgo and Capricorn energy here, and then we have the soulmate. Give me more under here. Pisces is this soulmate afraid to come towards you? Give me some more for this. What's, what's this? How's this going down here for Pisces? Family. That was under the deck with the change before. There could definitely be a family dynamic here. This could be someone who knows your family, someone you've had a family with, someone who's been close to your family. Relationship. Someone trying to establish a family, solidify a family in a relationship. Give me one more for how this is going down. Unfinished business. Yeah, so Pisces, there's someone who's coming towards you that's a little bit unf unf afraid. They're uneasy. They could be afraid about a family situation. But there's unfinished business. It's not over here. Party, this was just like a reconciliation, some sort of reconciliation here. Let me see what else I can get on these messages. Pisces, I feel like someone is coming towards you very uneasy. Very, like, they're uneasy. But they feel like they got unfinished business with you because it's not over. This person could definitely, there could be like a family feel to you, right? Family also gives me home energy. This could be someone coming to your home. This could be something about a home where someone feels like you're like family to them, right? They could see establishing generations and children and ancestors and origins here with you. If I see someone, I don't know why I want to say this for some of you, someone, someone could have left you hanging because they had a family issue that they needed to take care of. Pisces, if you feel ghosted by somebody, if someone ghosted you, they if, if, like if they kind of went silent or went dry on you, if they disappeared because they were dealing with something with a toxic situation, dealing with the family, they had unfinished business that they had to take care of. They could have been afraid or easy, suspicious or scared about something dealing with their family or something like that. But someone does feel like they have unfinished business with you here, Pisces. And I do feel like there's there's a, 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 an uneasiness. There's an uneasy. They're very uneasy about coming towards you, but I do feel like this is, they want to come towards you and solidify something with you. They very much feel like, but you and them have unfinished business here, for sure. Let's get some clarification on this, guys. Make sure you take care of your girl with the like, comment, subscribe, and share. Email me if you're interested in booking. Give me one for this change in this faded meat. And this is Cancerian and Sagittarius energy. But there is someone coming towards you in this energy where they want to have this regeneration, this growth. They want to go through this metamorphosis. This person could have went through some shit. I'm telling you, they could have went through some changes. But they're coming towards you to have this faded meat. They feel like something is meant to be. It's predetermined. It's a destined encounter that they feel like they have to have with you. Mm-hmm. Justice, you could be dealing with the Libra. Yeah, this person definitely feels like this is something that has to be done. This has to be made right. I feel like they're coming in the energy to try to make something right for you. Fake flexing played out. Yeah, this person is coming in. I feel like they, they're, they're ready to lay something down on the table. Whatever false facade or fake, um, yeah, whatever false facade or fake facade they were putting on, it is now played out. Give me one more on this energy. I have Libra, Cancer, and uh, Sagittarius. Give me one more on this. There's definitely someone get. I feel like the chain. The, the, this is like the chariot and justice. Someone is coming in, and they do want to try to make something right. An offer. Oh yeah. This fate. This this encounter. Whatever this is, that's coming in. It's predestined. It's predetermined. This person is predestined and predetermined to make this offer towards you, Pisces. I know it. I see it. There's definitely something changing here. Look, and there's another one. The dirty offer. This is to work together. It's almost like drinks and sex. Not, not in that order. <laughs> but I do feel like this is someone definitely coming in here. You, Pisces, you are getting, there's some sort of faded meeting where you're going to, that's pre, it's predetermined where you're going to get some sort of offer of justice. It's going to be an offer that's justice that's going to bring in some sort of change. I see this energy bringing it to you. Some of you have more than one offer. Now, again, you could be dealing with, I got strong, airy, Scorpio energy here as well. But there's someone that's going to take a chance. Go on, honey. Take a chance. They're going to roll the dice. And I don't feel like you see this coming. Look, chasing, I'm telling you. Pisces, you're not going to see this coming. 
Pisces, I don't know, for some of you, this may be something that you are considering doing. Go on, honey, take a chance. I feel like some of you may be afraid to do something because it may require for you to leave some other ish behind that you're kind of attached to. You could be afraid to do something here, Pisces, some of you, but go on, honey, take a chance if this is you. But I do feel like for a lot of you, this is someone coming towards you. They're getting ready to take the chance and come after you. Yeah, because they're into you. <clears throat> Good chemistry, great vibes. They have a positive outlook. Someone is definitely getting ready to take a chance, strategy, to chase you. That see this offer, this offer of justice, this offer to make these things right. I feel like someone feels like they have that they're, they're destined. They have to. It's only right that they do this. So why is it why is this unexpected, surprise, unpredictable, unusual here? Karmic friends ignoring Pisces. There's something unexpected about it because I feel like this energy that's taking this strategy to come towards you. I don't know if you I feel like you don't you didn't expect someone to turn their back on some karmic ish ignoring for sure. Or maybe you didn't expect this because you are you've been you've been ignoring this person because of some karmic friends. You don't expect something about somebody to ignore something dealing with some karmic friends here. Mm-hmm. Give me one more on this unexpected and karmic friends. Perhaps this is why this person is coming towards you. Maybe they maybe maybe something unexpected went down with some with some people that they couldn't fully trust. Where there was secret uh competition where you keep your you keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Thief, yup. <clears throat> Pisces, either someone is coming towards you, trying to make something right by for by, by you. And I'm gonna be honest with you. This person could be feeling like they need to come in and make something right by by you because something unexpected could have went down with some karmic friends they could have like gotten some sort of karmic justice thief this is the seven of swords people that you can't trust so somebody could definitely be now coming in and, and like a changed person and want to do right by you and trying to offer you something and taking and taking a chance to come after you taking a um a leap of faith and a risk and a strategy to come towards you mm -mm. Flexible. Something that something unexpected went down with a group of people here. And this is why someone is coming towards you. Let's see why ghosted and addiction is here. Let me get one for the ghosted for why this is here. Curious about you. See, this there's I'm telling you, there's someone that is feeling very removed that is very curious about you. I don't know if they ghosted you or you had to ghost them, or if they just simply a ghost because you made them whatever kind of dust in your life dirt digging there's definitely someone that is curious about you on the outside looking in so why is the addiction here always partying someone could be overindulging over drinking over partying drugs idle Someone could be addicted to the fast life. Someone could be, I don't know, I'm picking up Capricorn, Virgo energy, doesn't have to be either one of us, but I feel like someone could kind of be a big deal and they could be addicted to being like idolized and worshipped. Pisces, you could have left this kind of energy alone, especially if they hung around with a bunch of karmic friends, right? If people that they can't fully trust and shit like that. Somebody could be very, very curious and want to party and celebrate something with you. There is someone that's curious about you that, that's idolizing you. Let me see what this unfinished business is that someone got going on. Because I have someone here. What are they afraid of? Drama. They're afraid about some drama. Some of you are dealing with the fire sign. Yep. Somebody could definitely be afraid <clears throat> that you're not going to be bothered with them. Someone could definitely be afraid of a, some drama. Someone could be afraid to come towards you because of a drama starter, Pisces. I'm going to be honest about that, too. That's in their family. Give me one for this family card. Moving. There's some sort of movement tripping on you. There's that chariot. Some of you, someone could definitely be coming directly to your home or, or come directly to your family. I don't know why some of you out there, somebody, I don't know. There could have been somebody like you grew up with with childhood. Your families know each other. Maybe they moved away or something. There could be something about moving and family. More Cancerian energy on this family energy, and then there's justice on this on this on this energy. But this definitely is an energy that is tripping on you. Give me one on this unfinished business for how this is going down. What's the unfinished business about? It's not over here. Screenshots, enforcer. 
same it's different page someone is looking down at their phone here they feel like they got unfinished business give me one more on the same ish different different day tripping on you what's here crying over you mm -hmm. pisces what do we have here this deck to clarify. <clears throat> Pisces, there is someone that's tripping on you that says you guys have unfinished business. I feel like they're looking down at their phone in reference to you. Are you afraid that you're going to act a fool if they come towards you? Because they, be um, they could definitely be afraid that you're going to show your ass. And I don't want to say it like that, but they could definitely be afraid that you're going to get active on them. They're uneasy about coming towards you. Someone does, someone is definitely telling me how this is going down is that they're saying that they got unfinished business with you. They're looking down at their phone. They're seeing some shit on their phone and they're tripping on you. I feel like this is the type of, they, they may be coming in with, uh, it's almost like, it could almost be an offer that you can't refuse. Someone feels like you have unfinished business. So they're coming in making some sort of offer that you can't refuse here because they are tripping on you. There's movement here. Let's get some tarot on this. Baby Sharks, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, email me if you're interested in booking. I'm going to try to see what's happening here because there is definitely someone. Be careful if someone asks you out for drinks, if someone's trying to get drunk with you because they could definitely be trying to loosen you up. I got lots of cups here. Mm. Okay. Give me some for this change and justice for Pisces for the who. This there's an energy coming in towards you of energy of justice and which the cherry and justice, which is definitely the energy of ready to move forward, ready to take control. Could be the energy of traveling. Justice feels like karmic or otherwise, right? Coming in an energy where things are going to be balanced, just and fair. It has everything to do with the faded meeting, a fading encounter. There's an offer coming in. Whatever this energy is, it's definitely coming in the energy of trying to do something right and make an offer. It feels with predetermined and destined, it's almost like it's, it could almost be like a court date. But it almost feels like it's just something that someone feels like they have to do. It's or they or they're destined to do. It's predetermined. There's an encounter. Give me some for this for Pisces. It's it, there, there is a definitely an energy coming towards you in the energy uh, in that energy. What's this about? Look, an ace of cups. I told you. This is coming, Pisces. It's that same cup. Look at that. Be careful with alcohol, y'all. The six of wands. Victory, excess, acknowledgement. I don't know if somebody is coming in the energy where they're ready to change and like they're ready to give control over a situation, ready to give victory. I'm getting legal victory. The ace of pentacles, y'all see this? Pisces, whatever is headed coming, whatever, whatever uh, predetermined encounter you're getting ready to have, whatever changes is happening, it's justice. This feels very good. This is victorious success. The magician and the page of swords. I do feel like it's somebody who is capable of making these kind of changes and getting ready to do do so. Getting a little nervous. I heard a hand outside my house. We're just gonna keep going. Give me one on roll the dice and chasing. Because I feel like this is someone with a strategy that's going to take the chance to come after you and offer you something. Three of Pentacles. But it's to build something on a solid foundation. It's to partner and work together. Seven of Swords. Pisces, you don't see this. You don't. Because this is a strategy. Four of Pentacles. It's a strategy that someone's been keeping to themselves. There is a strategy. I don't know if this person is the kind of person that likes to keep things to themselves. The Four of Pentacles is definitely an energy of someone holding on to something very tightly. The Seven of Swords is being strategic about whatever strategy that someone has. Have they been holding back? There's definitely someone that's getting ready to come in in this energy. Let's part, they're going to take this chance. But again... This is not something that someone may, I don't know, because again, I told you the ghosting energy is here. There's someone that's kind of on the outside looking in. Give me what's, what's, un, what's something unexpected happened with the, because there's that seven of swords. I feel like something unexpected went down with some karmic friends, people that's something unexpected that someone felt like they can't fully trust with there's tension, secret competitions. Go downstairs, go. 
Someone feels robbed. They felt robbed, lost stuff. It could have been like somebody stole from somebody. Somebody, is, is there something unexpected that's happening? I feel like somebody is strategizing a way to come towards you because something went wrong that they didn't expect with another group of people or energies. But there's also an unexpected element for you here too. Because I feel like you don't see this energy coming towards you. Look, three of swords. I'm telling you, somebody was betrayed. Someone was betrayed, the world, and that's over. There's a cycle that someone someone has been betrayed by this kind of energy. This is the seven of swords, the three of swords, and karmic friends. Someone has been betrayed by this energy, and I do feel like they were surprised. They didn't see it coming, like something out of the ordinary. That cycle is wrapping up, though, the world here. Seven of pentacles. Yep, someone is just, someone is just waiting. They're waiting to wrap this on up. Pisces, if this, this could be someone that, that betrayed you in the past. And you may not be expecting this person to come back and try to make this right for sure. There's an energy of there's energy of someone, something coming in, making something right to you. There's an, a, a just offer here. And it definitely is it's faded. It's a faded just offer here. This offer is this ace of cups. Period. I don't know who got betrayed and who didn't expect to be betrayed, but there is. I see a, I see an unexpected betrayal here. Give me one more on this. Give me one more on this for what this is about. Queen of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be something about a mother and a child. Someone could be definitely coming in trying to offer this Queen of Pentacles a page of Pentacles to make up for a betrayal. Or there could be something about a child and a mother in a betrayal. You know, for a while, something about a home, possibly a son, a child. Let's see why this ghost is curious about you, Pisces. There is somebody who is sitting in silence. I don't know if they're worried about being ignored or rejected by you. They could damn sure do. You could damn sure be ignoring and rejecting someone who's curious about you. I just feel like right now they're on the outside looking in. This person could have ghosted you, Pisces, or you could have had to ghost this person. But there is a, there is a ghost that is curious about you. Tell me who this ghost is. Death, it could be a Scorpio. There's something in changing and transforming. There is this ghost. And see, look, death and a ghost. Pisces, do some of you feel haunted by something? Pisces, if some of you have been wondering if there's a, a spirit around you, when that transition, you're right. I'm sorry if somebody's been wondering that, but there's death and a ghost. This is like a, a, a ghost, right? Someone who could be on the other side. But I also feel like this is someone, this is there's some there's something about some sort of transformative energy. That's that change. Look, the ten of swords. I'm so sorry, y'all, because I see everybody in my house. Baby, go downstairs. There's something here about an ending. Hey, hey, I'm working. Please. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. There's this change. It could be a Virgo or a Scorpio. Let's see what this addiction, and I'm going to get so aggravated in a second. Let me see what this addiction and always partying is about here. Somebody could be overindulging. I'm serious. Somebody could be numbing out. Someone could also be tired of an energy that's toxic, codependent, whether it's drinking, drugs, alcohol. Somebody could have, someone could definitely feel like they got some toxic attachments to people who's taking things as a joke. I'm going to be honest too. It's like always partying. <laughs> Wipe that hit. <laughs> okay. Let me want for addiction and always partying. What's this about? The four of wands. Two of swords. Hmm. There's a king of wands, nine of cups. There could definitely be somebody that was overindulgent or full of themselves. I don't know why I'm getting overindulgent or full of themselves. The king of swords. Four swords. So there's someone who's been going through this transitional ish here. Wanting to heal this. I don't know. I'm it feels I don't rehabilitation. I don't know if someone wants there's healing. Four fours and fours. Four, look, four, four, four. 
Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Knight of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. Why do I feel like someone wants to prove something to you, Pisces? Someone wants to prove to you that there's some that they've made some sort of change. It has everything to do with some sort of addiction, toxicity, codependency. So there's someone here that's on the other side that's curious about you. I do feel like that's why this change is here. Someone wants to come in and show you that they've changed, that they went through some sort of metamorphosis, some growth. They went through some sort of cycles. They have grew out of some sort of cycle. Yes, yes, yes. They're growing out of a cycle. Someone, someone is curious about you and they want you to know that. I feel like somebody's going through some things internally, but I also feel like you're kind of removed from this person. Let me see why they're uneasy, what, 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 how this is going down. There's somebody uneasy, and they're, they're afraid about some drama. Ten of Pentacles. They could definitely be afraid to come to your house. King of Cups. Yeah, someone could definitely be afraid to come to your house. This could be someone that you work with. Someone could definitely be in another relationship with a drama starting, and, and, and there could definitely be some fear and uneasy because if they're leaving with change and justice, it's like if they're getting out of there, yeah. Yeah, if they're getting out of there, yeah. They could be having a bit of a problem here. Or they're afraid to come to you because they're afraid you're going to act up, Pisces. There's a king of cups here, seven of cups. Ooh, he's so uneasy. Give me one more. Three of wands. And what's on this? Seven of wands. It's ten wands. That's ten wands. Now there's two tens. There's two tens. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. There could definitely be some, some cycles wrapping up. You're dealing with home, legacy. Someone could be feeling overburdened. Someone could be feeling like they need to get out of a situation where they're oppressed, but they're afraid. Pisces, someone could definitely be afraid that if they come towards you, that you're going to act a fool because you got your guards up. Because you Five of Pentacles, because you definitely could have someone left out in the cold. There could also be someone afraid to get out of something with a drama start. I'm just going to be honest. It's a cherry, but there's someone headed towards you. The Queen of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Cherry. Here goes Temperance coming right towards you. And don't I have Cherry and Temperance here? Oh, there's an Emperor on here. Pisces, these cards are saying what they say. This is the Chariot and the Wheel of Fortune, which is uh, Sagittarius energy as well. Here's 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 Cancer, Sagittarius energy. I told you. Now I'm looking under here. Here it is again, Chariot and Temperance. And then here's an Emperor under here, King of Pentacles. Woo wee. There's someone headed your way, Pisces. Just put it where it goes. Give me one for family and moving because there could literally be an energy of someone moving, moving, or they're coming towards you to your home, High Priestess. We don't know what a can see in here. You are, Pisces. The Wheel of Fortune. What do you know about this? You're going to have to use your intuition about this move. You are. I see you being very silent, but there's up there. Someone could definitely, because you're silent, Pisces, somebody could be afraid that when they come to you that you're going to act up. But there's something headed your way. It's destined and faded. It's predestined, predetermined encounter here. Yeah, five of cups, nine of cups. I feel like it's in an effort to try to make something right. Five of cups, nine of cups, ten of cups, the sun, yep, to try to make you happy. Give me one more for this family energy. For Pisces, you are the high priestess. Use your intuition. The devil told you you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody could definitely be moving from a stressful situation, toxic, codependent situation. It could be deal with family and home. There's so there's an Ace of Pentacles coming in here. Magician, the Nine of Wands. I do feel like someone wants to try to come in and make up something for, with you. I also feel like the, again. I told you someone could definitely want to come towards you and show that they fixed some sort of toxic situation, moving away from toxicity, moving away from codependency, moving away from to toxic attachments, right? Moving away from some sort of betrayal. There's an ace of pentacles happening here for you. Some of you got a Capricorn coming your way, period, or, or, or Cancerian. So let's see what the unfinished business is about here, Pisces, because there's someone telling me for sure, for sure, they have unfinished business with you. They do. They're looking down at their phone. They're tripping on you. I do feel like this person wants to make an offer. They want to give you an offer that you can't refuse, right? Oh, there we go. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. There we go. Two of Pentacles. Yep, this is someone going back and forth. 
They say they got to finish business with you. They do want to make some sort of offer. You can't refuse. Eight of Cups. Nine of Pisces, if you walked away from this person, they say they got unfinished business with you. The gag is, is Pisces, for some of you, I suspect this person could have walked away from you with the ghost. But they got unfit. They, but the not, they walked away from you, but then they said they're telling me they got unfinished business with you. And this person is having sleepless nights and stressing. Page of Swords, Two of Cups. They're looking at this soulmate connection that you two got, that you two have or, or had. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Something about the stars aligning in order for them to be able to offer you something here. Give me one more. There's could definitely be something. Let's see why this King of Pentacles is saying they got unfinished business here. They're tripping on you for sure. And I feel like there's enough, they want to make some sort of offer you can't refuse here. The world a cycle closing out, lessons being learned. Someone could definitely be looking down at their phone, watching you online, communication, text messages. Uh oh, the Queen of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. See, the King is here. And now here's the Queen. Have a pentacles and justice. There is definitely someone who has unfinished business with someone who's there, who they're feeling a little, they're feeling removed, not a little bit, a lot bit from. I don't know, if Pisces. For some of you, I'm getting legit divorce energy. Queen of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Justice. Literally, there could be something here about a divorce, unfinished business with a marriage or a divorce, a justice situation. Right? Put it where it goes. Put it where it goes. Cause I get a little bit of that. But Pisces, if this is someone who's coming towards you, they're going to come towards you as the king of pentacles, right? Someone who is solid. Someone is a partner, right? Someone where you can build and grow something with. They could be telling me they got unfinished business. Now, Pisces, if this person is coming towards you, they know with the queen of swords and the five of pentacles that you're definitely not in the heart space with them. But I do feel like the five of pentacles is just as it's them coming in, trying to come in in this energy of change, regeneration, growth, metamorphosis with, through some cycles here, right? I've changed, right? For a lot of you, somebody has gotten some sort of karma. And this is why they're feeling like they need to come back and do right by you for sure. Look, there's the chariot again. Told you. Justice in a chariot right next to each other with the two of wands headed right towards you, Pisces, the queen of cups. There's an energy of someone coming right directly towards you to temper something to heal something with you. Give me one more. Someone is definitely saying that this cycle is not. Someone could have unfinished. They could be closing out a cycle somewhere else. There is someone coming in with an offer you can't refuse. Yep, the King of Cups. There they go again. There they go. There they go again. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Six of Wands. There is definitely someone that's going to try to connect to you in a very emotional way here that's saying that they have unfinished business. They're also saying, Pisces, they're telling me that they want to come towards you and connect with you in an emotional way. Six of Wands, very much a way to get your attention that will get you noticed. I also feel like this person wants you to know that they got victory and success over something here, right? They do. They want you to know that they've, they've went through some sort of changes, some growth, some metamorphosis, some cycles. I do feel like they want your attention. I also feel like this person is telling me that um, if you guys are kind of in separation right now, someone could just be the unfinished business. They could be taking care of finances. They could be wrapping up something with their finances. Where's the moon? So this is very unknown. Wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. The Hierophant. font. You could be dealing with a Taurus. I don't know why I just heard fulfillment of a contract. Pisces, there's definitely someone coming towards you with the King of Wands, the Seven of Swords, with a strategy that you don't see. But the, the strategy is all about them trying to manifest something, recreate something with you, get the stars in line, and get wish fulfillment. Make, get, make, it's making some sort of choice. They, they definitely want to heal something with you, but I also feel like there's something about getting alignment with you. You could be dealing with an air sign for sure. I have all of them under here. The star, the lover's. Give me one more on this energy. I have two kings here, though. There's there's two kings. Some of you got unfinished business with more than one person. But there's two, there's 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 definitely at least one energy here that's telling me that they got unfinished business with you. They they want to try to come they they, they want to try to come in and make an offer that you can't refuse. Eight of Pentacles, because they want to work on something with you. There is somebody who is feeling a little bit removed or left out in the cold, or even a feeling a lack of money right now. But they're saying that they're working on that. Someone got someone has unfinished business. And I do feel like they're coming in in this energy here with the five of pentacles and justice. They're coming in to try to make something right. They want to show you that they're that they've changed or regenerate, regenerate or have some sort of growth. For some of you, someone simply wants you to know that they've really gotten victory and success over some toxic ish in the past, that they've grown out of something, and that they've changed. They, they definitely have a strategy to take a 
leap of faith towards you. Some of you, the unexpected thing is you didn't you didn't expect for someone to definitely get away from some karmic friends or some karmic energy, but they have, okay? I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Email me if you're interested in booking it for the love of water tarot. I did not expect to talk this long. Let me get out of here, y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>